So I'm back on the bench with the Luger. So I took it out to the range to test fire it after my last repair and it broke again. Want to see my stupid face? And I found two things wrong. One, there's a pin that goes right here that holds the locking mechanism in place. And that was missing. Basically like a wire sits in there and it kind of locks it in place. So this was free to move. Well, this holds the... Uh, slide back so when it moves that slide doesn't return to its uh, correct position and that causes a jam so that was giving me trouble then my firing pin guide broke I had repaired the breech block because the tab right there at the top uh, where that locks into place in the breech block that had uh, broke so <clears throat> now I go to shoot it and the firing pin guide has broken so I also purchased a new spring here's the firing pin and the firing pin guide goes in there new parts old parts so we have the firing pin spring the firing pin spring retainer and the locking bolt spring so this is my third repair and it all revolves around the breech block so the first thing that happened was the breech block failed. The material where the firing pin spring retainer locks into place just basically failed. It just came out. It was a catastrophic fail and so the spring retainer just kind of popped out and that caused it to jam. Then I had an ejector issue so I had to replace the ejector and the spring uh, because the rounds weren't being ejected properly. Now my firing pin spring retainer has failed and I get to replace that. In addition, I found that the locking bolt spring was missing and that caused the locking bolt to be able to rotate and that's not good because that holds the uh, barrel in place when it slides back and forth against this lock here and if that lock doesn't move to a precise position during the cycle well then it's not going to cycle properly so I get to repair all those things so I'm actually back to reassembly so I have my firing pin that seems very robust hopefully I won't have to replace that so the firing pin goes in then uh, off camera here is my new firing pin spring uh, compared to the old one, the old one uh, has kind of a kink in it. It's actually shorter and kinked. So we'll see how that works. Then I get to put in my new firing pin retainer, which is basically a quarter turn. You, you set it in place, quarter turn it, and it comes back a little bit. It locks into a tab in there. Alright, so let's reassemble this. First the firing pin goes in. Then the firing pin spring. Then the firing pin retainer. are reassembled. So here's the face with the firing pin extruding and the new ejector <laughs> also in place. So when this 
toggles back let's see when this toggles back that's how it's set and then another mechanism comes in and keeps the firing pin locked back until the till it's released and the spring throws it forward All right, I'm gonna reassemble the slide here and this guy's kinda of funny it is extremely precise have to get it lined up exactly right and it'll sit in there flush alright next is a very delicate piece the locking bolt spring now I do see a hole right here right above my thumb and I would assume that the bent down corner falls in there and kind of holds it in place so with the locking pin in place it's going to hold it up see if it's loose it's it's just going to be flopping around in there and, and cause the slide to set at the wrong place or otherwise just create a mess and the spring retains it as it falls into that groove in there to lock it into position well when I went to install it I actually see the old one is like broke off in there can you see that it's broken off in there so I need to drive that out with a pin And there it is, it's out. So this little piece was uh, busted off in there. So that would have made it uh, that little end right there, that little L shaped piece broke off. So it snapped right off in there. So I actually feel better that I didn't forget to put it in, at least. Well, it's going to be interesting to note that it's actually a force fit. I had to put it in the vise here, and I'm actually going to have to maneuver it into position a little bit better, and then tap it in place. I'm going to try and get this on camera, but if it gets in the way, then I'm just going to have to do this off camera. Or I might get in the way of the camera, I don't know. back on the bench I will uh, fit this back in place see if it works so there it is flush on the other side and put it in in the unlock position gosh I can hardly move it to the lock position yep there it is to the lock position it's definitely firm and unlocked, locked, unlocked, locked. Okay, so there's definitely a difference there. All right, reassembly here.
Alright, we're going to do a test fire. 